Hello everyone, welcome to Extended Guidance. Welcome all of you that are new and all of you returning today to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And of course, if any of you are interested in booking a personal tarot reading with me, check out the link down below the Etsy shop in the description box below this video. So in today's reading, we're going to be tapping into your person's feelings for you right now. This is of course a timeless reading. So whenever you are finding this, it's the perfect time to align with these messages. So we have three different groups to pick from for today's reading. Group number one, you have the Nightingale card showing up for you. Group number two, you have the frog spirit or the frog animal showing up for you. And the group number three, you have the snake spirit or the snake showing up for you. So these are the three groups you can pick from. The timestamps for it, the groups are in the description box below this video and in the pinned comment below this video as well. Feel free to listen to more than one group if you feel guided to do so. And yeah, pause the video right now if you feel like you need a bit more time. I will see you all in your chosen groups. In case you're interested in my other platforms, my other work, my socials, or just want to send me an email with a question, which is listed in pinned comment below this video and in the description box below this video as well. So you can find me, you can find all my contact over there. So I'll see you all in your chosen groups and pause the video if you feel like you need a bit more time. Hello, group number one, welcome. So you have picked the Nightingale card today as your card in regards to your person's feelings for you right now. So we're first of all just going to look into this card a little bit and then let's just see what else wants to show up for you with some tarot. So with the Nightingale card here, it feels like your person really wants to sing about your connection. Um, I'm hearing sing from sing for me, um, but also I'm, I'm hearing like sing from me, like your person wants to sing about themselves to you. Um, it's it's showing up like the way that I'm hearing it is showing up in that voice of the phantom of the opera, you know, sing for me, but also like sing from me. I want to sing for you that quality it the way that i'm hearing it it has that prosody and that vibe of the sing for me song from the phantom of the opera so it definitely feels like i feel like your person's kind of connected to the phantom in some way or is just potentially feeling those similar energies or that similar um feeling that the phantom has like they they almost like want to call you in to their life um, and they want to sing for you or they want to sing you back into their life. Um, I'm also now hearing um, the song Sing to Me or no, it's it's like Sing Me to Sleep by Alan Walker. So that's something that's showing up for you guys. So Sing Me to Sleep could be an important song for you right now from Alan Walker. So you guys, let's get into some more messages. We're going to start off with some message cards. So we're going to get four message cards for you to see what your person wants to say and then we're just going to throw on some tarot for that so let's see what else wants to show up what your person's ooh, current feeling so i regret what i did what else what are they feeling right now do you still care about me or is it all in my head? So they're asking themselves, is there like still a chance here? Do you still care about this connection? Do you still care about me? Let's see what else. My heart beats so fast when you are around. I feel like your person really like appreciates you, loves you. Um, their heart um, is on fire. I'm hearing you set my heart, my soul on fire. Um, and, and like, I, I'm not sure who's singing that, Johnny Cash, maybe. I'm not sure, but just like, it's that energy of you set my soul on fire. You know, that's the way that I heard it. What else? I want to have a family with you. Wow. Okay. So this person definitely wants a happy family. They want to manifest something more with you. Um, I'm intimidated by you showing up here as well. So yeah, this person, wow, interesting. So they are intimidated by you. They're intimidated by how they feel towards you, but more so they feel intimidated by you because you have the, the power 
to hurt them profoundly because they feel so strongly for you, right? So they're so very open emotionally and therefore you have the power to hurt them immensely because of that, right? And they are quite intimidated by that. They're intimidated by the possibility of getting hurt so strongly, right? So let's see what else do we have here. So, so your person feels like very musical just from the way that I'm tapping into them and also with the nightingale here, it feels very musical energy. So they could process a lot of things through song or they themselves could be songwriters or just musicians in some sense or just really enjoy music overall. Um, yeah, your person wants to basically sing. I don't know what it is, but they, they might even want to sing to you, like literally sing to you. Um, they want to have a more fearless voice, like to be able to open their heart more fearlessly towards you right now, um, and to be more fearless in their speech, you know, like they want that connection between the heart and the throat to be more fluid, more open, more harmonious, so that they could express themselves more easily to you, to communicate more easily to you, to be just more open, um, to you, the Nate, nightingale oh my gosh why is it so hard to say the name of this card so the card the nightingale card here indicates a need to open the bridge between the heart and the voice as well right so there is something your person very very deeply feels like they need to say to you right um they feel like it's been such a long time since they really allowed their heart and their throat uh, their voice to be in harmony with each other so they feel like it's time to, you know, turn that up, to, to show up for themselves, um, to let it out, you know. They feel like they need to let themselves sing, let themselves express. Um, they could also be a person of poetry, because with the nightingale, what I'm tapping into is John Keats' poetry, and I'm not exactly sure why it could be that they're was a poem about the nightingale that he talked about or just wrote down. I'm not sure, just there, there is something there with John Keats. Maybe you just shared poetry or you resonate with that poetry or you can find, you know, some poetry by John Keats and then kind of see how your relationship is reflected within those uh, words that he wrote down. So the nightingale energy is basically with us when we write, compose, and especially when we sing. So I feel like that's what this is, like your person is kind of expressing themselves. They could be writing about your connection. They could be writing poetry. They could just be listening to songs or expressing themselves in some way um, poetically and like romantically in a dreamy way about this connection. Your person also might be feeling a little bit shy just because, you know, there is this feeling here of kind of feeling closed off or just not like feeling strong enough to actually express this to you just yet. It feels like that's in preparation, um, but they could feel like there's this lump in the throat of your person. I feel like they are communicating to you or with you through music in some way. So they could be posting things on their social medias, posting songs, um, or just, you know, writing some things that are intended to be bridges of communication to you so kind of just be aware of that you know um <clears throat> also some songs might show up for you as well synchronistically on the radio or through youtube or wherever you're you know listening to things on maybe on spotify things might show up for you that are going to be like very clearly letting you know that um that there is something going on here in this connection and you know even through the song through the lyrics your person could deliver some messages to you so that's just something that's really showing up here like music is a big um channel for the two of you and the way the universe is finding um it easy to connect to you right so let's just let's just look into some other cards now so let's see what else wants to show up here. So group number one, please, Spirit, what are their feelings right now? So yeah, the king of wands showing up here. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Oh my gosh, let's put this over here so you guys can see more clearly. Oh my gosh, yeah. I said you guys can see more clearly and then it's, it's literally completely unseen. So 
the king of wands your person feels bolder they feel yeah they feel bolder like they they feel more powerful i feel um they're tapping into that energy at least right now it feels like they want to be more assertive they feel quite passionate energy towards you right now and there's just i feel like they are starting to get themselves started to communicate to you to talk to you more freely to talk to you more openly to have that balance between the throat and the heart right now we have the ten, the ten of swords so all these cards are in slovenian by the way so that's why it's not written in english um so yeah the ten of swords they could have been going through something quite heavy um and that's why they haven't been communicating to you or that's why they haven't reached out i feel like this heaviness for your person this energy of ruin even is ending right now so whatever difficult cycle they have been in or if they've been thinking about something um a lot you know if there have been some really heavy thoughts on their mind or there have been some heavier energy surrounding them recently that is currently still present but it is slowly leaving their system with the 10 here the 10 is an end of something but it's still like it's still still present right so your person could still be hurting they could still be going through some hardship right now especially mental hardship so what's showing up here let's see what else wants to show up yeah we have the lovers oh my gosh we have the lovers showing up here and then we have the wheel of fortune showing up here as well so zalubianza incolo usoda in slovenian i really love using slovenian um wordings here every now and then just to kind of connect to my own culture and kind of involve you guys here and in, in it um so yeah um there there's definitely the sense of love alignment feeling a strong sense of alignment with you again that feeling of wanting to be with you wanting to have a family with you and wanting to have something more with you your person is still what i'm feeling is hoping waiting around to see how you guys come together again they still hold a lot of love for you they, they're still very open for whatever is next in this relationship your person still like loves you and feels very passionately towards you as well here so um there's a lot of passion there's a lot of i i feel like assertiveness that they are moving into right now they're becoming more assertive they might communicate and let you know about some things that they haven't done you know some regrets that they have concerning your connection um and yeah again with the lovers they feel such a strong deep emotional connection to you even if you guys are not together your person still feels and sees you too as one so they still see you as one they still think of the two of you as one um they still are like i don't really even want to say hopeful because hope has that energy of oh maybe it's not going to be they're really holding on to that feeling of you guys being together you being an item they're they're really holding on to it they are also just i feel like going with the flow of the mystery with the little moon energy here watching over the two it's just this feeling of mystery um in the connection that your person's kind of allowing going through they are figuring their life out as well throughout all of this they're kind of figuring themselves out learning life lessons here with the wheel of fortune as well and overall they just they just feel guided towards you as well they always feel like they are landing back in your field or just in this in this love that you guys share even you know hmm there's also a feeling of faith guiding them back to you. Like they always end up being next to you, always being like aligned with you. Um, they feel a lot of like harmony in this relationship right now. Or just thinking about you brings this person a lot of good feelings, a lot of harmony. Um, it aligns them with love, with passion. And um, yeah, like again, that sense of oneness, like like a feeling of I'm, I'm just meant to be with this person. 
that's the vibe that I'm getting here, especially like with, the, with the Wheel of Fortune being next to this. And there might have been some difficulties between the two of you where you guys have faced ruin together, where this relationship maybe ended before. You know, there might be some difficulties in the past that you guys have faced together here, but they're like still willing to move forward if you are willing to move forward because they still hold that immense love for you here. So let's see what else. Yeah, we have the, the Queen of Pentacles here. They see you as someone who is incredibly nurturing, incredibly loving. Um, they, they also are with the Queen of Pentacles here. This person is trying to ground themselves right now. So the person on your mind, they're working on grounding themselves right now. And just being more solid, being more steady, especially in their internal world, not necessarily externally. So externally, this person is showing up as someone who has or holds a lot of passion for you. But I feel like internally, they're more like um, in this in this feeling of holding themselves strong, being solid emotionally, uh, working on themselves, potentially healing some things and learning life lessons throughout all of that. So they're kind of keeping themselves in this energy. We have the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So it's all about your person also. Um, what, what I'm feeling here is just the energy of finding balance in the external world. It also feels like they want to travel towards you or move towards you or connect to you in some way with the ships here and here. You know, there's this feeling of I, I want to move towards them or I want to travel towards them or I want to travel with them or even wanting to go on a trip with you. That's also something that's on your person's mind right now. So let's see what else wants to show up. I really want to use um, some Oracle cards as well, but not really sure which ones. So let's use these. Let's let's just continue with the the vibe um so let's see what wants to show up so i'm again using the slovenian um oracle so we're going to use animals to just tap into more here to see what else they are feeling okay so too many cards came out let's just get one or two cards please for group number one's person's feelings right now so what's going on with them right now please spirit okay this one Okay, how we, so we have the cat, Machka, in Slovenian. So, yeah, with the cat energy, this this feels like they're protecting themselves, really. Like, again, that feeling of being intimidated by you potentially is still strong in your person. So they're currently protecting themselves. Um, this person could be trying to be more independent and less codependent within this connection with you. That's, again, something that's really resonating with the queen of... Um, pentacles over here it just feels like they are trying to be solid within themselves not be so codependent or not be so like um involved in how you might think about them um and like involved in doing what they think you would want right they're more like holding themselves strong here um, but also I feel like they, they are protecting themselves. This is a feeling of feeling maybe threatened by something and trying to protect themselves, trying to stay um, apart or step step away from the connection a tiny little bit um, just because of the body language in which this card is portrayed. Um, the cat is portrayed. It just feels like, you know, there's this like, you know, like I, I'm trying to protect myself. I need to protect myself type of energy. Interesting. Um, so there, there could have been some triggers here as well recently that happened between the two of you. If that's the case, your person is still a little bit triggered by you. Um, let's see what else we have. The owl. Amazing. So Sova or the owl is showing up for you guys as well. With the owl here, it definitely feels to me like they are, um, they're trying to be wise about all of this. So they could still feel triggered here. The cat energy here feels quite an internal energy. This is not something that they're going to show to you. They are going to like keep this to themselves. But I feel like that is because they want to be wise. With the owl, this person wants to be wise. They want to be just the type of person who acts in a thoughtful, wise way to the people around them who, you know, is very considerate of themselves and other people. 
with the cat, you know, there, there's this feeling of not getting into codependent energies again, or being more independent. And I feel like they're keeping themselves strong in this wisdom, in this wise decision making with the owl. I do feel like that is the feeling of also trying to balance themselves out more and just do what they feel is right for themselves and what is right for this connection. I'm just going to zoom you guys out a tiny little bit so that you can also like see the card. I'm intimidated by you more easily because I want to get one more card. So let's see what else. One more card, please, in regards to what are their feelings. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, we have the Earth Dragon Zmai Zemlya showing up for you guys. I love Slovenian language, like in the middle here, like just throwing it in here a bit. Um, we do have the dragon of water or the water dragon showing up on the bottom of the deck for you guys it's my voda here so yeah it's just this feeling of getting more in tune with their emotions so they they definitely feel like they're getting more in tune with their emotions right now and being more grounded being more steady so this feels like your person's really working on themselves and they're, if there were triggers that happen they're using those triggers to reflect on themselves right now which is wonderful with the two earth dragons here, it definitely feels like, you know, there's some healing going on. There's some healing, uh, some processing going on. And overall, there's this feeling of staying strong, like in the center, your person is centering themselves. They are being wise, you know, and this is, I feel like this is a new thing for your person. This is not something that they would be used to, or this is not something that they would usually or naturally do. It's something that they are practicing right now um getting more in tune with right now okay so i want to get you guys some guidance now for the very end i'm just trying to dig out the deck hmm yeah it, these two feel also like you know they're diving deeper into their emotions but in a steady way um trying to understand hold space for themselves and like be solid through all of this so let's see what else wants to show up for you guys. We're just going to be using the, the Romance Angels Oracle just to see what is the guidance it wants to show up or if any additional messages want to show up for you. So let's see for group number one. Okay, welcome. <laughs> Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So Spirit is inviting you to tap into other people to ask other people for support right now your friends or the people around you have messages to share with you about their own life experiences with similar situations that you're in right now or they could just offer a different perspective on this connection or on what you're going through if you're you know going through some type of healing yourself um, or just need someone to talk to usually you know having someone listen to us also just helps us process things and through that, we usually figure out what we even want to do. So talking to someone is going to be very beneficial right now for you. We also have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Um, okay, so I'm hearing don't take yourself too seriously as your guidance here. Um, and work on your pride. Pride is potentially a big one for you in this connection. Um, that is keeping you from playfulness in this relationship with your person. So working on pride, in in what ways are you maybe overly prideful or overly um, serious about yourself in this connection? To kind of reflect on that. Um, what do we have here? Take a breather. Last quarter moon in Cancer is showing up for you guys as well to take a breather, to chill out, relax. A little bit let's take one more okay we have believe in your good luck so first quarter moon in Sagittarius here um, yeah amazing so take a breather relax chill out a little bit um, give yourself space to process this connection a little bit more is what spirit is guiding you towards to kind of chill out and see what what comes up in your mind if you allow yourself a bit of time if you give yourself a bit of a break to allow yourself to process everything that's been going on um, and believe in your good luck so things are going to resolve themselves there is no need to worry 
um, about where things are going right now. Everything is working out in your favor. You did have the lovers here and the Wheel of Fortune. So, you know, the universe is conspiring in your favor right now when it comes to this connection, when it comes to you guys getting together. This does feel like it's a powerful connection. It feels like it's a soulmate slash twin flame relationship or at the very least with the lovers. You are teaching each other some really, really valuable life lessons with the Wheel of Fortune as well. So, you know, honor that, receive that. You are here to help each other grow, develop, see the blind spots. Okay. So thank you for tuning in, you guys. In terms of signs, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, Gemini, uh, Jupiter energy showing up strong for you. And we have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus over here as well. Um, of course, Cancer, Sagittarius. There's also like a feeling of water signs, of course, with the a uh, water dragon over here so there could be also you know strong pisces representations in your chart in your person's chart or maybe even a scorpio representations and cancer representations thank you for tuning in i love you guys so much if any of you want to book a personal tarot reading all my links are available in the description box below you can book a personal tarot reading through etsy or through contacting me for a personal tarot reading on my email account everything is listed down below all my socials are down below thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for sharing your energy i appreciate all of you so so very much thank you for liking thank you for subscribing and thank you for all of your beautiful comments i'll talk to you soon in the next video if any of you are interested in connecting to 18 plus tarot readings check out patreon for that and of course if you're interested in working closely with me one-on-one -on -one. check out the patreon tier the badass shaman for that i'll see you guys soon in the next video blessings and have a beautiful day bye namaste hello group number two welcome to your reading so you have picked the amazing the beautiful frog energy today for your reading on your person's feelings for you right now so let us dive into this i'm just going to zoom you out a tiny little bit so we can see a little bit more okay doc so we're just going to tune into the frog spirit here a little bit and then we're going to get into additional messages so with the frog um what i'm getting overall is this feeling of being grounded and being stable on one side and then being very emotional on the other but not emotional in the sense of overly emotional but just in the sense of being able to tune into their emotions and being like attuned to their emotions a great deal so that's what is mainly showing up here with the frog with the frog spirit i feel like your person right now is also feeling a little bit sensitive what i'm hearing is like raw um they are they are very empathetic, even though they might not show it. This person is very empathetic and very sensitive to energy. So they are currently feeling quite raw or quite sensitive or like um, what I'm hearing is also what I'm typing into is like they're processing something right now. And they do feel like they're taking some time out to practice self-care right now as well. Just tuning into themselves. It could be that this person has been... Um, overwhelming themselves in some way or just like doing a lot of things and they feel like they might have been running on empty um so now they're kind of trying to like replenish themselves rest rejuvenate themselves is what is showing up here your person definitely feels like they want to align with greater self-care within your relationship so they want to practice taking care of themselves and practice taking care of their emotions more deeply and more enthusiastically and they also want like a clearer energy this person wants to know what they are on about with you in particular like in this relationship more clearly they want this connection to be clearer to them so that's also a part as to why they are potentially a little bit distant or just more um involved with themselves right now because it's because they're kind of figuring out you know what is right for me you know what is right for them what 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 comes together in the, your connection you know how do you guys come together they're kind of like in the background processing all this energy and through that they're kind of clearing understanding figuring things out 
and yeah just really understanding um trying to understand to the best of their abilities what is happening what is going on in your connection by taking a bit of a time out it feels like it's a gentle hermit energy if i'm quite frank with you you know it just feels very hermity but also like they're open to connection like your person's not just shutting you out here they're definitely very open to connecting with you very open to hanging out so there's definitely you know that enthusiasm for your connection that's still very much present so let's see what else they want to say. So we're going to get four message cards and then we're going to move towards the tarot. So let's see what messages want to show up for you. Group number two. So what does your person want to say to you? Group number two. Let's see, Spirit, what does their person want to say to them, want to communicate with them? What do we have? Well, I still want you. So they're they're literally saying like they still want to be with you. They still want to interact with you. Um, I'm hearing I'm not over you. So they still want to like see you, connect to you, see what's been going on with you. Um, still want you in their life. I can't deny my feelings. Yeah, I feel like this person might have a thought that oh, you know, I I can maybe um, just grow out of this connection like like the frog you know the frog has different kinds of life uh, environments in its life so i feel like your person was like yeah this is maybe just a phase in my life and i'm just going to you know just do this and maybe i'm going to just grow out of my relationship with group number two well it did not happen they're still like well that did not happen i still want them i still feel for them even after a couple of months or after, I don't know how long it's been with you, you know, maybe years, even for some of you, they're still like, well, I still want to be with you. I still want you, still want to hang out. I still feel a lot of enthusiasm for this connection. I still can't deny my feelings for you. And my feelings are still present. So there's definitely you now that more solid understanding from your person's perspective. Um, that's like, wow, you know, after all this time, I still care about them such in, in such a strong way, you know. Um, they really, really thought that they could grow out of this relationship. Um, so let's see what else I daydream about you. What I'm hearing is also my love for you is still going strong. Let's see what else. What do we want here? We have, is there still a chance? Yeah, like they're wondering. Are you still into this? Are you still interested? Is there still a chance with you? On the bottom, we have my heart beats so fast when you are around. So yeah, like your person really still feels this strong attachment to you. They still get super excited when there's a chance to spend time with you or when there's a chance to like just be with you, um, hang out with you. They always like get such an enthusiastic surge of energy. Um in them and they're like holy crap i thought i would have been you know done with this by now but there's there's actually no chance that i will ever be done with group number two it's like that type of energy um very cute actually and your person being like holy crap you know i, I think i might really like them a lot like them too much like love them even you know question mark question mark so yeah, I feel like they're just being, I feel like flabbergasted by their own feelings right now. Like, wow, you know, I, I can't believe I still love them so much. That type of feeling. So let's see what else here. Yeah, we have the page of wands energy showing up. Definitely, there's this incredible enthusiasm for your relationship to continue to move things forward. Um, enthusiasm for the connection. We have the uh, ten of swords showing up here as well it's interesting a connection um the ten of swords also came up after the wands energies in group number one in case any of you have been drawn to group number one there might be some messages there for you as well so there's still some difficulty some ruin that your person is facing i feel like that's with the frog and that that feeling of running on empty as well like they could have gone through something quite heavy um here just feels like you know like they were just met with some quite strong 
potential truths about their own situation with you, or they just maybe realized how they have been impacting this connection in a negative way recently, you know, so it feels like they are kind of um, just facing the hardships, facing the difficulty, but it definitely feels like it's quite a mental hardship as well that they're focusing on and facing right now. We have the Four of Swords showing up here. So yeah, there's definitely that feeling of rest. So is it just basically um, mirroring here? Let's see what else. What's going on with your person? What are their feelings for you right now? What are they feeling right now? Ooh, the two of cups. Yeah, still wanting a chance, still wanting to be together with you. Amazing. So beautiful. And we have the five of wands showing up here as well. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This one is actually showing up right underneath the, is there still a chance card? We have the uh, star, the star, Zvezda, the star coming up. And we have the king of wands on the bottom of the deck you guys yes um again if you were drawn to a uh, group number one this is your invitation to go listen to that one as well um if you were kind of picking choosing between group number one or two what do i do you know it's like uh, go listen to that one as well um or maybe a part of that one we also do have the king of wands over there showing up so 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 and there's like a similar energy. All right. So um, how is your person feeling? They want connection. They want unity. They want you to be compassionate with each other, more loving, more compassionate, more open to each other. Your person is currently resting on this connection, reflecting on this connection. They feel like they may have been too involved or there, there might have been something in which they, they just face some type of hardship when it comes to this connection. This could also be for some of you, their own personal life right now, you know, their own personal, let's say difficulty, or if they're facing some type of hardship right now or some unexpected change, even a paradigm shift in some way in their life, you know, that is helping them to be in the self-reflective, more calm, more stable, more replenished energy or striving towards that replenishment with the Four of Swords. So they also, again, they feel strongly, incredibly, incredibly strongly for you with the Two of Cups. This person is very drawn to you, very open to you, wants to hang out with you, wants to do more things with you. They do have a lot of like love, compassion for you. They are striving for alignment with you and I, I feel like they just want to be in a romantic connection of course you know they want to be in a romantic connection with the page of wands here on one side and the king of wands on the other it feels like there's this passion that's brewing inside of your person like this emotional deep passion that's brewing inside of them and that is like containing them currently within this reflective um, attitude, but it's also helping them see hope and see blessings on the horizon when it comes to the two of you and you both being together. So there's a lot of like enthusiasm behind the scenes, you know, this enthusiastic, um, enthusiastic like idea of your connection, even, you know, this enthusiastic, um, enthusiastic vibe of the future of the two of you in the future that, that that they're like connecting to and they're very like happy about it very excited about it there's a great deal of vitality here your person feels like they might actually do stuff because they're figuring out like they still like you you know through reflecting on this they still are figuring out like, I, I really, really like group number two, holy crap, I can't stop thinking about them, I daydream about them all the time, you know, my heart beats fast when they're around, I still want them, I still want to be with them, so I feel like the, with the king of wands here, they're tapping into that boldness, um, that assertiveness, you know, to take a stand, to take a chance, to move towards you, to message you, to say something, to make things happen in the external world, but not before they like replenish themselves here because there there still is something here that is quite heavy that they need to just allow out of their system process out of their system 
So with the five of wands here, this is the energy of your person being a bit like in two places at once, as we see here, of course, you know, there's this feeling of needing to like rest, replenish themselves, clear their energy to see this connection more clearly, to see you more clearly. And then on, on, the, on the other hand, it, there's this like big excitement um, to live life and to experience things with you and to go the distance um, and to see things from a different perspective with a hanged man underneath there, you know, so there's a lot of different kind of um, um, like energetic movement in them with the five of wands. They feel like potentially they have some, let's say, healthy, quote unquote, competition in this connection as well. Like they might see like your interests in other people or other people are interested in you as well romantically i feel like your person is maybe a little bit like jealous of other people connecting to you and they don't want that so they feel like they should maybe step it up because they definitely feel like you guys are meant to be together or you're meant to hang out more with the two of cups here um they definitely see you like as a soulmate even you know like as someone who is meant to share at least at the very, very least, a friendship with them. You know, you feel like a kindred soul to this person. Okie dokie. So there's a lot of hope. There's also potentially for some of you, your person working on themselves with the star here. So there's this feeling of um, like tapping into some traumatic experiences, you know, that they need to like just process out, feel through, um, resolve internally. So in terms of signs, we have the king, the king of wands and the page here. So Aries, uh, Sagittarius, Leo energy, also Aquarius energy showing up with the star. Um, what I'm hearing is transformation, but transformation in a very positive way in a very like we are fixing this. We're making it better type of way. So let's see what else. What is your person feeling right now towards you? Oh, we have the hog. So amazing. Maria said, so they, these are all Slovenian decks. We also have dandelion here showing up. Amazing. So with the, with the um, hog energy here, wild hog, actually, um, this to me feels like your person is protective protective of themselves, protective of this connection as well. They might be protecting this connection from other people, also from themselves if they've been going through something heavy, um, you know, it's just, it's just that they're also like protecting this connection from themselves. You know, they don't want to hurt you or don't want to bring you any pain because they might be going through something. Uh, quite strong. So we have here the snake energy, God specifically, it's a particular kind of snake um, in Slovenia. So God, I'm not sure how, what type of snake this is in English, but yeah. Um, so the snake, I feel like that's just, that's just resonating with healing at this time with your person. Let's see what else comes through. Let's take two more. So we have the dog. Yeah. So they're saying they're, they're still loyal to you. And we have Sturzhek, or this amazing, beautiful bird here. Um, let me see where I can put it over here. So yeah, I feel like there is this tenderness that your person feels towards you right now. They're still protecting themselves. They're protecting you, protecting themselves. It's kind of going hand in hand in their mind right now. Healing is a big one right now, an energetic alignment with the snake specifically energetic alignment is important and grounding for your person right now and with the dog there is of course this fidelity this love of you and who you are and what you represent in their life um i'm hearing i will never forget you so there's this incredible like appreciation of who you are and how you are showing up in your person's life and with sturzhek here there's this incredible tenderness that your person feels towards you as well um, with the little lightning energy here, it just feels like there is definitely some change on the horizon or maybe, you know, your person has been going through, again, that paradigm shift, that difficult, that reformed way of being. Also with the frog, you know, that again resonates quite strongly that they're kind of shifting themselves in that way. Um, yeah, that there's like this feeling of 
hope blessings this person is holding hope next to them it's like the energy of I fall asleep with hope and I wake up with hope and I fall asleep with blessings and I wake up with blessings type of energy. It's a very gentle energy here, um, especially with the feather in this bird's mouth. It's like this feeling of I'm holding on to blessings. I'm holding on to hope. I'm holding on to love. Yeah. So let's see what wants to show up now in terms of guidance for you guys. So let's see what wants to show up in terms of guidance. Hmm. We have release control, first quarter moon in Taurus. So let go of control. You don't need to do a lot. You don't need to hold on to the way things were or the way that you expect things to be. Just kind of try to let it go and be more fluid in this connection and new moon in Virgo trust all will be well so this goes quite hand in hand with releasing control often we fear releasing control because we cannot trust you know we cannot trust that everything is going to work out for the best for us for our person uh, or for this connection, we trust that we are going to lose something or we, we trust, we, we do trust, you know, we kind of fear. And through that, we kind of trust in that energy of, uh, oh, I'm going to lose something, you know. So it's about releasing control, releasing fear and trusting in the well-being, trusting in your worth, trusting in the worth of this connection, trusting that um, this person has a space for you, has a loyalty for you, has a fidelity to you here with the dog, um, has this enthusiasm and this love for you, you know, like the dog being the man's best friend, you know, that that energy of compatibility is present in your relationship. So just trusting in that is going to like shift your energy. We have focus on the positive on the bottom of the deck, new moon in Sagittarius over here. Just put this like that. And we're just going to see what else shows up. So any other type of guidance for group, group number two right now, please, Barrett. Okay. So Spirit is saying, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Amazing. And what else do we have here? It's safe for you to love. So open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This is just about energetically practicing the ability to be open to love, the availability of your own system to love as well. So kind of trusting that all will be well. It goes again hand in hand with all of this. Also the star. The star is a very optimistic, loving energy that wants to bring you blessings, you know, even if things were difficult, even if those blessings, you know, come through the darkness and through the dark night of the soul. It's it's trying to bless you. The universe is always trying to bless you to bring you blessings and and worth in a sense abundance so calling in your soulmate is on the bottom of the deck here your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together this is a message for some of you to start manifesting to start trusting trusting uh, in the affirmations trusting in your visualizations trusting in your intuition about this connection as well so trusting all will be well but also like not holding on to things too strongly you know it's about playing with the energies about being humble and soft and tender with the energy that you're dealing with so that's your guidance. Thank you so much for tuning in, my darlings. Thank you for sharing your energy. If any of you want to book a personal tarot reading with me, the Etsy shop is linked down below in the description box. Also, my email is listed down below if you want to send me an email, if you want to ask something or collaborate with me. If you want to tap into 18 plus tarot readings, check out my Patreon. The link is down below as well. And if you want to work together with me through guidance through, for guidance throughout the month, and um, transmissions and things like that. Um, sign up for the Patreon tier, the Bada Shaman for that. Thank you for tuning in. I love you all so, so very much. All the other links, all my socials are listed down below. 
And yeah, thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much for commenting down below. I enjoy reading all of your comments. Thank you so much for tuning in and for sharing your thoughts. It means a great deal to me. And what else? Yeah, thank you all of you who have been um, donating to this channel. It also means a lot. Um, it means a lot to just receive support so I can continue to do this work for all of you. So thank you for being here and I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. Bye. Namaste. Hello, group number three, welcome. So you have picked the snake energy, the snake card today as your reading. So let's get into this. So we're going to first of all, just tune into this energy a little bit to see what wants to show up. Then we're going to get into some messages, some tarot, etc. So with the snake, let's see if we're persons, current feelings, the feelings right now, what are they feeling, spirit. So with the snake um, here, it just feels like what I'm hearing is dormant energy. Your person feels like there's a lot of dormant energy within this connection. Um, we have not yet realized half of what we can experience within this connection. So they definitely feel like there's like a lot of unlimited untapped potential within this connection. You know, it almost feels like right now the relationship itself from their perspective is like contained within some type of control, some type of controlled dome type of, um, let's say, reality, quote unquote, right? So yeah, what the snake here is kind of holding things together just feels like this holding things together is like the untapped potential of this connection. So your person feels like they're holding on to a lot of thoughts. They feel like they're holding on to potentially a lot of emotions. Like they haven't told you or they haven't talked about some of their deeper experiences with you. Some of the things that they really wanted to reveal to you. They're really like holding on to all of this. They might be afraid to reveal all of these things or just might not be sure like how to go about talking about some of these things with you, All right? So with the snake energy, there's, there's this feeling of what I'm hearing is wanting to release, wanting to break free, wanting to um, be spontaneous, wanting to talk to you, wanting to like make sure that all of this beauty that they're holding within themselves like pops open and like just flows into your connection and flows into the world. Um, that's a very like loving, loving approach that they want to dive into with you. Yeah, like they want to break free. They want to break free of the confines that they've set upon themselves here with the snake. And they, they just feel like there's like a lot of untapped potential. This connection for this person is like the archetypal untapped energy, the archetypal untapped potential. And they want to see where it's going, right? So I feel like there's still, there still is like a little bit of fear here. Like what, what if it's too much? Like this feeling of, oh my gosh, what if this untapped potential here? What if this energy is too much for us? What if it's something that I can't handle? You know, they're, they're kind of thinking about that as well. Like what if it's um, something that I can't deal with or, you know, you know, th there's like a bit of catastrophizing almost going on around that. You know, what if it's this? What if it's that? What if it's something else? You know, it's like a bit of getting in your own mind over it. But at the same time, they know it's exciting. They know they want to tune into it more. Um, they just feel like if they allow themselves to tap into this creative potential, this untapped, unawakened potential within your connection or within themselves, their own feelings towards you and towards this connection, they, they know they're going to uncover magic. They know they're going to awaken some type of magical way of living life, you know, some new way of experiencing life. And they're, they're like simultaneously afraid of that because a part of them feels that and is afraid of that as well. So it's not just about your connection. It's also about your person being like, okay, do I want that? You know, do I want to 
do you want to not live a contained life you know do you want to live a life that is adventurous but like let go of the amount of comfort or safety to be able to have that adventure you know it's, it's like they're, they're kind of calibrating that it just feels like you know like things are trying to fit together and harmonize inside of their own mind and their emotions right now so let's see what do they want to say to you so we're going to get like um four or five messages from your person to tap into to see what else they want to say so let's see overall the snake is a grounded energy it's just what i want to mention as well so there's earth here there's quite a grounded energy your person feels quite solid quite stable or at least they are attempting to be all right let's see what do they want to say what does group number three's person want to say to them um i like it when you open up to me yeah they're also saying it keeps me safe or it makes me feel safe with you it makes me feel safe to open up to you as well so your person really really likes it when you open up to them because it also makes them feel safe to open up to you or to talk more about their emotions to you i am broke as fuck and insecure about it this broke this could also just be about some type of um loss or some type of vulnerability just just a feeling of not having something some type of lack you know so it's not necessarily money they could have some type of lack for example um a lack of courage here um or a lack of just go with it attitude a lack of the fool energy you know so let's see what else let's get you three more cards here oops one one drew back i'm holding back yeah they're holding back right now they're questioning though like is this right should i be doing this is there still a chance so they like still are wondering like is there still a chance with you can we still have this um like if i reach out to group number three right now can we still have this you know there's still like this curiosity that your person feels they're still wondering about you a great deal so let's see you want to have a family with you yeah they want something more with you they want some greater stability with you i want so much more for us yes like that feeling of untapped potential definitely like they want so much more they want this connection to be more more empowered more amazing more this more that you know more loving more adventurous and they know it's on them to to like involve themselves with this i want so much more for us okay so i'm just going to put this here i hope you get to i hope you see it enough you know so it's not out yeah you, you can see it well okay all righty so let's get into some tarot now let's see what else wants to show up in regards to their feelings for you so overall it's like this feeling of we could we could have had it all Adele again. I don't know what's up. Like Adele sometimes comes into the reading and it's, and it's like screaming and singing for us. So we could have had it all energy is showing up. You know, we could have had so much more. We could have right now so much more. Um, I'm hearing this is your person's way of healing and um, gathering up all that courage to then connect to you. Yeah, we have the nine of cups showing up here. So it's it's about them stepping into the courage to fulfill their wishes right now, to be a proponent of their own um, desires. We have the ace of wands showing up here as well. So all of this, what your person's tapping into, what they're thinking about, you know, is it's all about them being or being able to be the proponent of their own happiness in this lifetime we have the fool yeah we again we mentioned the fool so this is just like again confirmation showing up um your person getting ready to trust themselves and be the fool you know and to trust that they have everything within themselves that it takes to untap 
to untap the constraints and to tap into the connection in a way that is going to help unravel or release the untapped potential here. All right, so I'm also, I, through that old tapping talk, I just tapped into, again, tapping. Um, tap dancing could be a thing for you guys. I'm just going to sh say uh, also a Magic the Gathering could be something that connects you two together. So that could just be confirmation for some of you. I just feel like I want to mention that. So we have the Seven of Wands here as well. So there is some, some yeah, uh, just energy of being careful again. We mentioned that before here. That feeling of, oh, I need to be careful. I need to just be careful of how I'm stepping, uh, where I'm going. We have the Queen of Cups showing up here as well. Let's see. Let's get one more. So how are they feeling right now for you? Oh, we have the Four of Swords. And on the bottom, we have the devil showing up. So yeah, obsessing. Oh my gosh. Your person is obsessing over you. You are so, so strongly on their mind. They can't let you go. They can't release you. They love it though. I'm not saying that they don't. Um, they are definitely, you know, very... Um, I feel like desiring you in a strong egocentric way right now as well so really like holding on to that desire really tapping into that strong desire of oh i want to be with them oh i want to hold on to them oh they're mine you know that feeling of mindness is showing up here like your person wants you to be theirs um they don't want to like do this or to like hold on to you though um so i i do feel like here what did the set the with the pardon with the four of swords not the seven with the four of swords they are um trying to like almost like breathe themselves through the devil you know like work themselves through the devil take this time out to just work out the devil inside of them that desire fueled mad person that's like yes I want that in their mind and I want to be with them that passion you know a strong passion desire all of it that lust potentially for you as well you know they want to kind of allow it to be worked through um yeah for some of you your person could struggle with not seeing your side of the story here um with the devil on the bottom of the deck so they could struggle with not fully understanding or not fully being able to comprehend your part your side of the story i feel like they're still trying to figure things out they're trying to think in a way that would involve your perspective of your relationship as well but i feel like still they are very much focused on how they are seeing things and what they are wanting here um they they feel a bit bored with the queen of cups here like the way that she's looking at the cup you know it feels like like there's a little bit of like oh like a little bit of boredom like what am i to do with you you know it's that type of energy what am i going to do with you you know like this this type of picture the way it's showing up it's like oh my gosh what am i to do with you um and there's a feeling of like wanting to confront you as well with the seven of wands you know it's like i feel like the devil is kind of playing its little mad tricks on your person right now um and it is all intended to help this person unravel, um, to kind of like open up to the potential more. So there could be, I feel like there is also some contradiction here, you know, in how your person is feeling. Because again, they feel very nourished with the Queen of Cups. They feel nourishing. They want to nourish you. Um, they feel like they want their dreams with you fulfilled, you know, so they want this happy family. They want this amazing, beautiful potential with you. I feel like there's also another part of this connection that's just incredibly, incredibly passionate um, or just fueled with this intense passion. I feel like your person does struggle with that a little bit. Um, it feels mysterious to them. It feels like they sometimes struggle with making sense of that 
um, of, of that or those feelings. Um, and they feel like sometimes they just want to jump into things, just follow their passions. You know, other times they're like, okay, let's be more controlled about all of this. Let's think things through. So they're kind of in, in quite a contradictory energy towards this, towards you. They could also exhibit hot and cold behavior, like in and out behavior with you, kind of trying to figure out where they themselves want to stand. So if they're showing up hot and cold, it's like they are also trying to figure out how being close to you feels, but then at the same time, they're trying to figure out like how close is too close right now. You know, it's it's like that energy of, as I said, like calibrating, figuring out where exactly are they standing here? Uh, what exactly do they even want here? So it's like um really like a bit of an unstable energy. <sighs> yeah. But there's like a lot of vitality here. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of like lust. There's a lot of desire. Your person desires you immensely, desires you bodily, physically. They want to be with you physically. Um, they find you very alluring, sexy. Your body is very attractive to them. You know, they want to literally be with you, like share a bed with you. Um, and they want to nourish you and they want to make you feel good. I'm just going to sneeze. <laughs> We, <laughs> you guys that's again confirmation i love it when i sneeze um it's just confirmation for your reading if you're like yeah that's not me then then i sneeze it's like yes it's for you um so let's see what else wants to show up here so for group number uh three please spirit whoop oh we have the owl amazing so soba in Slovenian, the owl, your person is trying to be wise. They're still a predator in a sense. They're still like tapping into some of their like predator instincts here with the owl, but they're being wise. They're trying to like, like steady themselves, um, ground themselves, align themselves before they take action or actions with you. Let's see what else. What else wants to show up here? We have the fox. Oh my gosh, amazing. The fox, Lisica in Slovenian. So it's amazing, an amazing little Slovenian animal deck that we're using. Let's get one more. So what else are they feeling? Hmm, this person feels like they want to be a bit cunning. Yeah, that's like the, the contrasting energy, that unstable energy here as well like they want to express themselves in some way we have the bear here as well the bear medved in slovenian and we have the air dragon zmai zraka on the bottom of the deck here okay so they want to reach out they want to communicate to you they want to communicate and just kind of tap into what what are you doing how are you getting on you know they, they want to just see what's been going on with you. I feel like they're wondering what's going on with you right now and they're kind of thinking whether or not it would be wise to connect to you. Um, I feel like your person is also not sure if they can steady their own passions for you. Once connecting to you, they're not sure if they can like steady themselves and be normal, like quote unquote normal, because they do feel a ton of passion for you, a ton of desire for you. They're afraid that that might spill out too much they are afraid that they might not have a hold on to their desire you know that that it might express itself too strongly in your connection yeah like again i want so much more for us i want so much more from this connection i want so much more i want to experience so much more um also like bodily with you but at the same time they feel like they need to be wise they need to steady themselves they need to like breathe out and even practice breath work it is possible your person is even practicing breath work to be able to like move energy and resolve this strong passion that they feel towards you because uh, they feel like it is a bit of a burden for them even but the devil energy um yeah so the fox they they want to reach out they want to do it in a clever way they want to do it by being maybe a little bit um secretive or not tell you everything that's been going on with them but they just want to reach out they just want to be in your presence just want to be in your energy just want to 
tap into your energy and like learn more about you as well. You know, kind of just want to dive into it and see where the road takes them. There's a feeling of being very clever or wanting to be clever here. Um, at the same time, with the bear showing up here, and they, they literally have like a similar position. So it's making me like cluster them together, um, the bear and the fox. I feel like your person feels quite similar to you um, because of that. But also I feel like they want to be clever, but they are actually clumsy, right? So that's what they're again feeling. They're feeling like they might show up or show up as clumsy when they actually want to be clever. Um, and and they're, they're like afraid of that. They're afraid that they, you know, might actually like reveal everything about themselves to you. They do want to be a little bit secretive, a little bit like up in the air, like a bit more um, aloof. But I feel like with the bear, the bear, I don't know why here is showing up with a bit of a clumsy vibe, with a bit of a clumsy energy. Um, uh, no offense to the bear love, but yeah, it's just, it's a bit of a clumsy, like plop, plop, plop energy, the way that it's showing up. And um, your person, I feel like they are afraid that they're going to say something or say too much or show too much and just show off as clumsy a bit, um, you know, show off too much of their emotions, you know, tell you too much about their emotions, um, show you too much about how much they actually want you um, physically, you know, and and maybe even more. They might tell you too much um, with the bear. What I'm tapping into is like this Hagrid energy, you know, Hagrid from Harry Potter, when Hagrid just kind of starts talking and then he's like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have told you that. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Whoa, I shouldn't have told you that. Oh, I shouldn't have told you that either. Oh my gosh, whoa, I should get going. Bye. You know, it's that type of vibe that this is giving. Um, and again, like the bear is also very wise energy, as is the fox, as is the owl, as is the air dragon. So definitely, I feel like your person overall is trying to be as wise as they possibly can be right now, given everything that's occurring inside of their own body, their mind and their emotional state with the devil here. Right. So you guys, let's see what else wants to show up for you. So we're just going to grab a deck and we're going to get you some guidance now for this connection because yeah your person is a bit all over the place they are a bit confused but they are from my perspective here they are cute in their confusion um let's see what's the guidance for you we have shine new moon in leo like go out there be bombastic be yourself be amazing shine shine bright like a diamond i don't know what is going on what's this song um yeah shine light up lighten up light up and lighten up last quarter moon in leo so chill out be easy on yourself leo energy showing up as like glow up as well um as the guidance to glow up or to focus on being more open more loving uh to yourself like focus on your physical um vessel Focus on eating well, focus on getting that hair done, focus on uh, getting your nails done, if that's something that vibes with you, or go to go do that facial, you know, whatever you want to do, self-tan, you know, if you want to do that, you know, whatever you want to do to take care of your body, um, do it. Give yourself a bubble bath, you know, pamper yourself. We have detoxify here as well, so make sure you are eating well. Make sure you are eating well. Make sure you are eating foods that are not going to take from you, but are going to give you energy. Um, so any type of processed foods, you know, try to stay away from that. Uh, junk food, try to stay away from that and substitute with healthier alternatives if you can. Um, it's also time to detoxify the mind from any, you know... Um, self-deprecating thoughts or any thoughts that might be holding you back, any thoughts that might be saying, no, that's not right, or any assumptions that are holding you away from this connection, any assumptions about yourself that you might be having, any scarcity thinking that you might be having about this connection. It's time to like detoxify that out of your system, become aware of it and be like, okay, thank you, bye, you know? Um, 
I'm overly simplifying, but that's like the overall guidance. Getting to know each other is your guidance here as well. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So your guidance is also to connect to your person more deeply, to talk to them more deeply. What else do we have here? Deception. So be aware of your person not showing you their true face. Um, this is not like a very big deal with the fox here. As we said, they're just being a little bit secretive about some of their own feelings, their own emotions. So they might not really reveal everything to you that they want to reveal, say everything to you that they want to say. They might not say that, you know, they feel a great deal of chemistry with you even, or they might not reveal that they are feeling sexually aroused by you here with the devil, you know, so they could just be contained when they're talking to you, but actually there's a lot more going on beneath the surface than meets the eye. Your person is just trying to be incredibly wise about how they are showing up in your relationship right now. So they could be wearing a little bit of a false self mask, but you know, not fully like showing themselves in an incredibly different way, but just um, with a false self mask, it feels like there are some things that they're keeping secret, some things they're not wanting to talk about about how they are feeling towards you or what's been going on in their own mind about you. Whoa, so many, so many cards here. Let me just put this back and we're just going to draw another one. Let's just draw one more. Now, literally, they want to like throw all the cards down with deception. I feel like your person also doesn't like deceiving. Um, which like all the cards just literally falling from my hand feels to me like they don't like that they are not telling you everything. It could be that your situation is such that they cannot reveal everything to you, you know. Um, let's see what else. Or it's just not the time right now to tell you everything. Just They could feel like they can't say everything to you right now. Keep an open mind. So yeah, Spirit is inviting you to keep an open mind here in this connection. Uh, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So yeah, keep an open mind when it comes to this person. Try to be light. Focus on yourself, like Leo energy, like glow up, you babe. <laughs> glow up. Make sure you keep yourself well, like dress the way you want to dress. Buy yourself that makeup if you wear makeup or, or if you're interested in that. You know, um, focus on a healthy body. Um, yeah. And that's it. That's your guidance for right now. Thank you for tuning in, you guys. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. If any of you want to book a personal tarot reading with me, check out the Etsy shop. The link is down below in the description box. If you want to tap into 18 plus tarot readings, check out Patreon, the Primordial Practitioners. And if you want to work with me more closely, one-on-one -on -one and receive guidance, tarot readings throughout the month on your questions, um, check out the Patreon tier, prim not primordial practitioners, but the badass shaman. Yes. So check that out. The links are down below. All my socials are down below as well. Thank you so much for liking. Thank you so much for commenting. And thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. It really means a lot and helps the channel grow a lot and helps support me so much as well. And also thanks to all of you who have been sending donations. It supports me so wonderfully. So thank you all who have been showing up and supporting this channel so that I can provide this amazing work to you. So thank you for tuning in. I love you all so, so very much. And I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Hope you have a beautiful day. Bye. Namaste.